guys, welcome. Today I'm gonna do a baked pastry for y'all. And this is called sausage rolls. I actually grew up eating this. I think it's also called pigs in a blanket over here. But I actually grew up eating these. During the Easter holidays, or during July, August holidays, my mom would bake a lot of different pastries and she would make a lot of sweets for us because she had four children and she had to keep all of them occupied. So I just got up the phone with her and I said, Mom, I'm gonna make sausage rolls. So she was like, yeah, when you were small and I was baking sausage rolls, you would stand by the oven and wait until they were done. And she said when it was finished, I would eat it right out of the oven. Like it was steaming hot and I would eat it. And she was like, yeah, you were so licorice. And licorice means gritty in Trinidad. So I was like, well, yeah, I'm still gritty because I love food. But anyways, I'm going to share my version of sausage rolls for you guys. So I hope you enjoy it. So we're going to start off by making our puff pastry first. And if you're going to use store-bought pastry, then you can just click the little annotation on the screen and you can go right ahead into the video. So making puff pastry is actually a long process but I've actually found a foolproof way of making it really quickly without all the hassle of like folding and rolling out butter and all those things. So this is what you'll need. Some salt, some very cold water, you can add ice to your water if you want. Some cold butter from the fridge, flour, some frozen butter that I actually grated and all the exact ingredients are gonna be in the down bar below or it's gonna be on the screen. And you'll need some extra flour as well for when we're rolling out our dough and stuff. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add a generous pinch of salt to this flour and add the butter that was in the fridge. And just cut it up into big chunks. And just go in with your hand and kinda work it into the flour. Once you've kind of crumbled up the butter into the flour, just add a little bit of the water. And once it starts pulling together, we're going to add the rest of the butter. And make sure that this butter is extremely cold, like I said it was in the freezer and then I grated it. You can even just cut it into small cubes as well. And yes, pastry does contain a lot of butter, so try not to eat it too often. <laughs> So just work that into the flour. And add a little more of the water. So once it's pulled together nicely and there's no excess dry flour or anything, then you don't need to add any more water because you don't really want too much of a soft dough. This is the perfect consistency. So now I'm going to show you the next step. So just place your dough onto a surface that you can work on and where you have a lot of space. And, and you'll need your extra dry flour at this point. So you're going to add it to the dough. And kind of try to form a sausage shaped kind of dough so that you can roll it out into a rectangle so just roll it out and instead of layering it many times and taking it out and stuff this is what I like to do you're just gonna fold the two ends in And you're gonna roll it like this. And those are all your layers. So now wrap this in some plastic wrap and store it in your fridge for about an hour. And then we'll come back and start making the sausage rolls. So now to assemble our sausage rolls, I have my chilled puff pastry dough that's been sitting in the fridge for about an hour. I have some chicken franks or chicken hot dogs, whatever you want to call it. These are just the ones from the pack and you can use the little Vienna sausages as well in the can, but I like to use these. And you can use chicken, beef, veggie, whatever type you want to use, it's up to you. And I'm actually going to cut these in halves 
but you can leave them whole and do a bigger sausage roll if you want. It's totally up to you. I have some Dijon mustard here. You can use any type of mustard you want. Some ketchup. And you know I have to have some pepper sauce in here too. And some green seasoning. And this is just the way I like to make my sausage rolls. You don't have to do it this way. You can omit whatever ingredient you want to omit. Or you can just make it plain. Like my mom, she would make sausage rolls plain for us without any of these ingredients. And it would taste absolutely delicious. You can make them plain and then make a little sauce to dip after. It's up to you. So we're gonna start off now by rolling out the dough and because I don't have a huge surface to work with I'm gonna cut this in half but if you have a large countertop that you can roll this out on then by all means you can leave it at this size. So I'm just gonna put a piece aside and you'll need some dry flour to roll it out and we're just gonna try to maintain a square or rectangular shape. So you're just gonna take your rolling pin and roll it out. And make sure to keep dusting flour on the surface because you don't want it to stick and make a mess. So now that it's rolled out, I'm just going to kind of neaten up the, the ends a little. You can use your pizza cutter or just use a knife or something. And maybe I'll use this to wrap one of the rolls. But try not to make it back into a ball because those layers that we form it's just gonna get crumbled up so just don't roll it back into a bowl just put it aside just how it is and we can make maybe about two sausage rolls with that okay so now just kind of measure what size your sausage is and if you're using the bigger one well obviously your roll is gonna be bigger so i'll make cuts so before we even go ahead to cutting it i'm gonna paste my sauce on there because if you just cut it and then you have to paste each one it's just gonna be tedious and, and it really doesn't make sense to do that so add everything to your bowl. So I've added all my ingredients to my bowl and I'm just mixing everything together. So I'm just gonna brush a thin layer on here because you don't want the flavor to be too bold. You just want it to be kind of in the background to give it a little kick. And leave some rooms on the end because we're gonna add the egg wash as well. So that looks good there. Now just go ahead and slice it across. So four this way and then we'll do four this way as well. Okay, so now that I've cut the little squares, I'm gonna wrap one and show you. So you're just gonna place your little frank there and take your egg wash. Oh, I think I didn't mention this in the ingredients, but you'll just need one egg and a little bit of water to create the egg wash. And then just wrap it. And the egg wash is gonna seal the two ends together. So just place this on a baking tray that you have lined with some parchment paper and place it seam side down. So I'm going to finish these up and I will come back and show you what they look like at the end. Another thing that I want to mention is that you want to preheat your oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit so that when we're finished rolling all these sausage rolls, the oven should be preheated so we can pop it in there. So I've just finished up all my rolls. I'm actually not going to do the next piece of dough. I think I'll leave that to do maybe for breakfast. So I've got about 16 small ones and two big ones. The excess dough that I trimmed from the edges, this is what I used to make the big ones. And the width was not enough for the hot dog, but what I did, I kind of spiraled it so it fit around the entire thing. I don't know if you can see how I spiraled it. So yeah, now what we're gonna do is brush these with some egg wash and this is just gonna give it a really nice golden brown color so once you've brushed it with the egg wash and your oven has come up to 425 degrees Fahrenheit I'm gonna pop it in there for about I would say 20 minutes maybe less as soon as you see it's really nice and puffed up and golden brown, that's when you'll know it's time to take out. So that'll be anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven and I will come back and show you how they look like when they're finished. So these sausage rolls just came out the oven, it's been 20 minutes. So if you don't want it so golden brown, then you can just leave it for 15, but I like mine really nice and crispy on the outside. 
So they smell absolutely delicious. I just can't wait to eat it. I feel like just eating one right now, but it's so steaming hot. But I'll wait until it kind of cools down a bit and then I'll break one and show you how it looks on the inside. So it's cooled down a little bit and I tasted about two of them and they taste absolutely delicious. The pepper sauce and the seasoning really brings out the flavor and the mustard has a really subtle flavor. You know it's there but it's not like too loud. It's so good and the pastry is so flaky and nice. And it's actually so crispy and so flaky. I just love how it tastes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this sausage rolls video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to see all my latest videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!